Hey everybody, it's your friend and your guy and your favorite broken record, Gardner. Today we're going to be talking about the biggest week that the Steam Deck has ever had and I could not be more excited about this. But before we jump into it, I want to give a special shout out to Matt Dancer, who is a top tier Singularity member on Patreon. It's because of people like Matt that I'm able to continue doing this work. So thank you. All right, first, let's talk about the fact that there's been so much Steam Deck news this week. It's been kind of bananas, actually. On Monday night, Valve dropped the most massive Steam Deck update that we've seen to date, at least in the public. I made a video talking about the new features, and it's a video that I'm incredibly proud of. If you haven't seen it, check it out up here. But all day Tuesday, I was actually working on that video, so I didn't really have a chance to put the new update through its paces. You know, play a game. I have to say that over the last few days, I have got over eight hours of gameplay on battery power, and that's eight hours of playing a mix of AAA and indie titles. This morning, my battery was at 9% before I decided that it was time to actually charge it. So while the last update was massive in terms of features, it also drastically increased my deck's battery life. Granted, I had the half rate shading option enabled the whole time, but that's kind of the idea, right? And you know what? I haven't really noticed too many obvious half rate shading graphical artifacts either. All right, next up, let's talk about the fact that the deck verified program now has nearly 2,500 titles listed as either playable or verified, according to SteamDB. And it seems that Valve has really taken the community's feedback to heart here as they've slowed down the pace at which games get ranked as verified. And I think that this is a good thing. The verified badge should be for games that provide a rock solid experience that perform on par with or better than they do on Windows. So they need to take the time to confirm that every game given verified status should be a near perfect experience. Okay, so let's move on. Let's talk about uh, Oligarchy Ambulance fixing his Steam Deck's Delta Fan Wine. Now, this is pretty cool. He said, quote, I saw some people mention that pressing on the back of their deck quieted or silenced the infamous Delta fan wine. I tried it and it seemed to help me as well, so I fixed it permanently. It doesn't take much pressure at all. I'm only very lightly pushing. So I opened the deck and placed some electrical tape directly behind the Valve logo. I ended up using about four pieces, but you may need to use more or less. I also tightened the interior fan screws while I was in there, but that didn't seem to have much of an impact. But no more wine. He also tested how this tape mod affects thermals. Quote, some quick testing after I removed the tape and put it back on, the temps in No Man's Sky were 53 to 54 C for both CPU and GPU, and split gate is at 49 or 50 Celsius on both. No difference with or without tape. Now this is awesome, but the question is, What's with gamers fixing their consoles using tape? If you remember, the Switch's Joy-Con drift issues were fixed with a few pieces of tape too. And that's a fascinating, if completely meaningless coincidence. <laughs> now, if you're enjoying this video, don't forget to subscribe. It helps you stay up to date with all the cool stuff that we're doing here on the channel. And thanks. Okay, finally, let's talk about the huge beta channel update that just hit. So Val's Pierre Lou posted patch notes for SteamOS 3.2 beta on Wednesday, and it's really amazing. So I posted a video on Monday talking about what I think is the Steam Deck's biggest hardware flaw, the Steam and quick access buttons. But there were many full-throated comments saying that I was absolutely wrong and that the Steam Deck hardware's biggest flaw was the loud and whining fan noise. Thankfully, the first thing mentioned in these here patch notes is, quote, added an OS controlled fan curve to improve the experience in low usage scenarios and adjusting how the fan responds to different scenarios and temperatures. And many users have reported that the fan noise has been significantly improved since they applied this beta channel update. Now, I was lucky enough to have been sent a Steam Deck that doesn't have the high pitched fan issue, though it definitely is audible when playing a game. But I can confirm that my deck is a bit quieter after this update. But I'm burying the lead, of course, because that's what we do on YouTube. The beta channel update also added the Megaton feature that we've all been waiting for since the Fox released his video on the topic, 40 Hertz refresh. Well, it's actually any Hertz between 40 and 60, but we'll talk about that. Now, this is a massive feature that's in the beta channel and it should be rolling out on everybody's Steam Deck pretty soon, but this is going to both further improve battery life while also increasing the playability of certain AAA titles that can't consistently achieve 60 frames per second. 
So I saw a post this morning on the Steam Deck subreddit asking this question, quote, why is 40 FPS and 40 Hertz the most hyped thing right now when you could use, let's say, 50-50 instead, or even 45-45? Are those refresh rate frame lock combinations not as good as 40 or 60 Hertz? Please explain like I'm five because this is stressing me out big time. All right, I'm gonna take a crack at explaining this. The fact of the matter is, you can actually adjust the screen's frame rate incrementally. So you can set the deck's screen to any integer between 40 and 60. So if you want to do 58, if you want to do 42, if you want to do 69, well, you can't do 69. But in my testing and according to my math, I think 40 is the preferred refresh rate. But why 40? Why not 50? Well, it's pretty simple. Now, it all comes down to frame times. At 30 frames per second, a new frame should be rendered by the game every 33.3 milliseconds. At 60 frames per second, a new frame should be drawn every 16.7 milliseconds. Now here's where the kicker comes in. At 40 frames per second, frame times come in at about 25 milliseconds. So that means that frame times at 40 FPS are basically halfway between 16.7 and 33.3 milliseconds. Yet the frame rate is actually closer to 30 than 60. So by having the frame time, it also only increases your frames per second by one third, and you end up with a more 60 FPS like experience at a lower overall power consumption. Essentially by playing at 40 frames per second, you get the most bang for your buck while maximizing your battery life. But anyway, I'd like to know what you think. Leave me a comment and let me know. Do you have your Steam Deck? Are you in the beta channel? Let me know, I'd love to hear from you. And before I let you go, I wanted to let you know about the second channel my girlfriend and I just launched together. We're hoping to hit a thousand subscribers soon, so if you enjoy reaction style content and silly banter, make sure you check out the second channel. Speed. No. You're American, yes. Is your character black? Yo, you racist, bitch. <laughs> Does your character bark? Does your character have over 3,000 followers? <laughs> I just, I love, it's the same joke over and over again, but it's perfect. No, it's like, awesome. That's why it's called perfectly cut screens. That See, sense. that makes sense. It's all coming together. Yeah. Are you sure it's not perfectly cut screams? Perfectly cut screams is a different subreddit. <laughs> I want to give a special shout out to my friends on Patreon and my YouTube members who make what I do here possible. It's because of them that I'm able to continue to evolve this show. And if you believe in the work that I'm doing and you want to help this show grow, you can become a member and join the Linux Warriors with the links below. And thank you. Well, I think that's going to do it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Have a blessed day and I'll see you guys in the next one.